Hi YouTube, this is John, and this video will be a little different from the usual videos. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of my accomplishments and my achievements as a professional concert pianist. So a little about me. I started playing piano when I was five years old. I studied with a Russian teacher, Anna Balakaskaya. Uh, she was, you know, she had me do the scales, arpeggios, hand and churning, the usual technical stuff. And I got a really good foundation. At age 13, I got accepted into the Juilliard School of Music in New York City, pre-college division. And I started studying with Mati Rakali over there, who was a college teacher, but he taught me. Because I'm so good. When I was at Juilliard, I won a lot of competitions. I performed in a lot of concerts all over the world. Um, some of the places I performed at were the Kennedy Center, Carnegie Hall. I performed at Carnegie Hall uh, over, I think, four times. Severance Hall, the State Capella Concert Hall in Russia. I performed in Germany. I performed in England. Uh, also, the China's National Center for the Performing Arts, as well as concert halls all over China. And some of the orchestras I performed with were the Cleveland Symphony Orchestra, the National Symphony Orchestra, the State Academic Orchestra in Russia, Harbin Orchestra in China. Actually, I performed both the Tchaikovsky and Rachmaninoff concertos in one concert for that concert. So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that I play piano arrangements that I arrange myself of um, non-classical genres of music, such as metal, some EDM, some even some anime music. But I also play a lot of classical music. A few years ago, I read in the news that the Great Philadelphia Symphony Orchestra went on strike, and also the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra went on strike because the musicians weren't getting paid enough. And that made me wonder, classical music is dying almost, right? And time and again, I go to concert halls, I find out that you know, they're not being sold, the tickets aren't doing well, ticket sales aren't doing well. Even the great concert pianists of the world can barely sell full house. Uh, there was one time in China, in Beijing, the National Center for the Performing Arts. I actually performed there once. Uh, great, a very good pianist, probably one of the greatest pianists of this generation, under the age of 30. He was a gold medalist in one of the biggest competitions in the world. He was going to have a concert in the big hall of the National Center for the Performing Arts in China. Probably, I would say, the biggest hall in China. The biggest concert hall. Ticket sales were so bad that they had to move him. Two days before the concert, they had to move him from the big hall to the small hall. And because of that, I thought, why? I thought to myself, why? Why is classical music so prominent hundreds of years ago, but for the past, I'd say, 50 or so years, it's been dying? And I think a lot of the reason is with technology and social media. Especially a lot of these old school classical musicians and orchestras, they don't really get to social media and they don't take advantage of modern technology that much. If you look at, I don't know, pop singers, rappers, even you know country music singers, they're always on social media, they're promoting their concerts, they're through technology, through, you know, they, they, they take advantage of technology. Yeah, it made me think, what if I could do something, I could try to help classical music, make classical music great again? So I thought, a lot of people, I know, a lot of people listen to metal, a lot of, I could probably try to bring some metal audiences and introduce them to classical music. You know, they'll realize classical music is pretty cool, it's exciting. A lot of classical music is exciting. Obviously, if, you're, if you've never listened to classical music before, you probably wouldn't want to start listening to like the Bach Goldberg variations or like a Bartok concerto or something, right? And so I decided to make um, piano arrangements of metal music, some EDM music, Alan Walker, and some TV show music. Now, I'm not a composition major. I didn't study com composing in college, and I don't consider myself a composer. But I've played enough of great classical music compositions to sort of get by just transcribing and arranging. 
and I think I'll do a pretty good job of it, frankly. If I say so myself. Now, my main goal for this channel, what I want to do for classical music is, I want to introduce classical music to more people in the world, right? I want more people to realize, to listen to classical music, to go to concerts, to play piano, play classical music, to sing classical, to do whatever, relate with classical music, right? For this, for my channel, I'm hoping in the future to make instructional and educational videos. So sort of like maybe how to play piano or how to play piano better or piano techniques. But not, not really specific song tutorials, piece tutorials, right? Because there's plenty of that on YouTube. You search how to play, I don't know, Despacito or something. There's going to be hundreds of searches telling you like how to play Despacito. There's going to be like a Synthesia and stuff. But I want to actually teach people how to read music, how to play piano better, good technique, so you can play anything you want. Right? So people can play wherever they want. They don't depend on YouTube to play a piece, right? If they want to play um, Shape of You, right? They just get the sheet music and they can play Shape of You. So I want you guys to let me know in the comments if you would like to see that in future from future videos of mine. I want to inspire people to learn piano. Because a very common question I get when I'm talking to people or after a concert people come to me they're like oh yeah I, uh, you know you play piano that's so cool and I'm like yeah it's cool it's cool to play piano and they're like you know when I was small I learned some piano but I wasn't good at it or they'll say oh I want to learn piano but I think I'm too old and it's too hard really it is not that hard to learn to read music to uh, play piano basic stuff, basic pieces. What's hard about playing piano is playing the extremely hard stuff like Islam May, Don Juan, um, anything by Franz Liszt, rock, modern rock concertos, Pacotti concertos. These things are hard. I will admit they're not hard for me, but you know, they're hard for most people. So that's basically it for this video. Oh, one last thing is I will be in China. Uh, from December through January so I will not be able to upload any videos because China uh, very annoyingly blocked anything anything that has to do with YouTube any websites that's related with Google right so they blocked Google they blocked YouTube they blocked Facebook you can't get on them you blocked Instagram Twitter all of these things Gmail blocked in China so for these two months, I'll be in China. I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing a couple concerts. I'm gonna do a couple recordings. Hey, I might even do some recording for this when I come back. Who knows? Maybe I'll have some better recordings, better quality audio. For those of you who watch some of my videos and complain about my audio quality, when I come back from China, I will I'll have I'll try to upload as many videos as possible. And if you guys. And if you guys have any questions, from now until I go to China though, this time, I will not, uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to upload that many videos of me playing, because I'm very, I'm focused right now on the piece I'm going to play in concert. So I won't, I won't have as much time to do arrangements. I have one more arrangement for the piano, and I, probably one more classical piece I will record and upload, but... What I will do is, if you guys have any questions or you guys want to know certain things about how to play piano, questions for me, questions about piano technique or how to do whatever, write them down in the comments. And between now and until I go to China, I'll try to make as many videos, instructional videos, as possible. Because those are, you know, <laughs> easier to make than me playing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I This is my first time, you know, making like vlog or I don't know what kind of video is considered for YouTube. Um, I'm going to make more of these in the future and I hope, I promise you they'll be better than this. And until next time. Okay. And also be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.